Final Fantasy VII Remake is a game that you're going to spend a lot of time with, so you want the best settings. So I'm going to talk to you about the easiest, the best, and my favourite, as well as why 60 FPS is a bit of a problem. As you can see from here, the very simple, easy option is to just go with a 30 FPS cap in game and have the texture and shadow resolutions on high. No other changes needed. You cap this at 30 frames per second. Dynamic resolution is not going to be an issue. It looks absolutely fantastic on the screen. And if you can cope with 30 frames per second, it will play absolutely fantastically. The frame time does bounce around a little bit, but without the performance overlay, you really won't notice very much and you don't really get the stutters because dynamic resolution does not kick in at 30 frames per second. So the most stable at 40 frames per second, you will need to force DirectX 11 and also disable the dynamic resolution. I have a separate guide for that in the description below of how to disable the dynamic resolution. I have the frame rate set to 40 FPS and 40 Hertz on the Steam Deck performance overlay and the in-game settings set to high textures and low shadows with the frame rate at 60 fps. This gives a super stable frame time and really gets rid of all those micro stutters and is absolutely fantastic to play and keeps that frame rate absolutely solid at 40. If you were looking to get the best out of 60 fps, well the dynamic resolution kind of kills this. Believe it or not, one of these is on both high and the other is on both low. As you can see the dynamic resolution really messes with the quality and even though the one on the right here is the low settings it really doesn't make a huge difference until you look at the fps as i come full screen then with both high settings at 60 fps cap and dynamic resolution enabled you can see that that fps dips around the 40s and bounces around all over the place and you will get some stutter as well as that dynamic resolution bounces around the only real difference that you will see playing the game on low overall with FPS at 60 is that the FPS does actually hold a lot closer to 60. If you really want to push that frame rate then my favourite setting and the one that I am actually going to be playing with Force DirectX 11, use Proton GE 720, cap the frame rate at 60 and disable dynamic resolution. Now we do bounce around between 40 and 60 depending on the battles and depending what's going on. But that micro stutter has gone, the blur has gone from the dynamic resolution and this is definitely my favourite as I do prefer to play as close to 60 frames per second as I can. It does take a bit of a bigger hit on the battery so you will need to be closer to a charger but it really does look absolutely fantastic with dynamic resolution disabled and getting much closer to that 60 frames per second. So there you have it got the easy option at 30 frames, the nice middle ground at 40, or pushing the limits for the best of 60 with this final option. Let us know in the comments below which one you're going to be choosing, and if there's another game that you'd like us to take a look at, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.